Hi there, welcome to this week's Angel Reading. I'm Rachel Skoltok and I pulled you three cards this week. And first up, the first card for the week starting Monday the 26th of June, nearly forgot to tell you, um, is from the Archangel Michael deck by Doreen Virtue. And look at this, I don't know if you can see this card with the light. Honour and trust your feelings. And it shows Archangel Michael with this glowing heart of light radiating, radiating outwards. So there's a dual message for this. The first message is you could be ignoring or overriding some important feelings that have um, you've been having recently. Now, when you do that, when you push away your own true feelings, what happens is, is that you sort of, it's like you, you put a, a shield around your heart. You put a, a, a hard calcified shell around your heart because Every time you ignore something that's important for you, not only are you not loving yourself, because that's how you love yourself, is that you listen to your, in honor, your true thoughts and your true feelings. You, you actually make your inner voice quieter because it, you know, it's trying to get your attention with something and you're saying, no, no, I can't do that. I feel guilty or I can't do that. I'll never get another job. Or, you know, you keep pushing your true feelings away. It, it actually is, it's the way you break your own heart. So the angels are saying that make sure, search yourself and be really true and honest with yourself for this week. And be, you know, promise yourself that you will follow what it is that you're feeling. Because you can't really go wrong when you, when you trust your true feelings. If you've been having repetitive feelings like this situation's toxic, I don't want to go there. And you keep making yourself go there you're actually hurting yourself. And so you've got to trust that there is a divine solution to every problem. And that when you trust and you go within and you ask the angels and you ask God for help, the help will come, the guidance will come. There might be steps you have to take. Likely there will be. It won't just kind of be like Santa Claus comes and delivers something. There will be likely to be something that you have to do and you'll have to be brave. But the joy, the happiness, the rewards, the, the abundance that comes from being really true to yourself is way better than the just trying to stay in your comfort zone and, and hide from, you know, having to make choices that might be difficult. So honor and, and your true feelings. Be really true about your feelings to yourself and, and honor them, follow them. Do something that um, that's going to really help yourself. Now you'll see with the card, the heart, the that it's like the 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 darkness, the shell of fear just bursts away, and your the light, your heart will open when you do that. So you know there is a saying that when you're nicer to yourself, you're nicer to other people. When you're easier on yourself, you're easier on other people. You'll find that a lot of the harshness in your energy will will melt away. Now, did you feel it this weekend? There was a really big shift, and it felt for me as if this curtain was being pulled back. Another layer of consciousness, another, another layer of um, that was keeping people asleep, another layer that might be revealing to you things that you need to know about your life or um, something that you need to know about yourself. So really stay close with your angels when you, when you feel these shifts. What I find happens with people is that they get a really, they might have a really good day or they have an epiphany or they feel better. And when they feel better, instead of taking another step forwards towards the divine, towards um, being more healthy, looking after themselves, connecting to their angels, what they do is that they, they sit back and, and go, oh, well, you know, it's happening. All of my hard work is, is paying off. So I don't actually have to do anything. And the angels are saying to you, no, keep going. It's really important that you stay in, in conscious contact with your angels, with the divine, God, whatever your name for that is. Do something that really honors that, whether that's a meditation for five minutes every day or half an hour, whether that is sitting in prayer or writing out your prayers, journaling, yoga, something that is conscious and that you can be completely present for, that is contributing to opening and, and clearing and strengthening that bond that you have with your soul and with your with your divine creator because that is what makes all the difference 
it's not like, um, okay, the cards say it's all going to happen today, so it's all going to happen today. Yes, that might happen. But for you to keep that ball rolling, it's up to you. It's like you need to close the gap. The, you know, the divine spirit is at a higher vibration. The angels are also with you, but they're at a high vibration. And you have to kind of raise your vibration to get there. And the only real way I know how to do that is to um, do meditation and other practices like it. So you're really being asked to just keep that ball rolling because that curtain being pulled back is just one of the layers. And you can keep those layers peeling back so that you can sort of, you can manifest more easily. You can feel better on a daily basis. You can be true to yourself and be sure that you're walking your divine path. Now, the next card is comes from the Flower Therapy cards by um, Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves, a lovely card deck, and it says, shield yourself. Now, as soon as I pulled this card, it, I was shown an image, and I'll, I'll talk to you about that now. Imagine that you can see the Earth, you can see planet Earth, and you can see around the Earth, the beautiful Earth, you can see this golden light shimmering surrounding the Earth. That golden light that surrounds the earth like a blanket is like representing the divine mind, God, the angels, whatever your, your um, name for that is, it doesn't matter. And that divine consciousness is, it's where miracles come from. It's grace. It's the spiritual solution to every problem that you might have. It's it's healing. It's where all of that energy is that we what we love. We feel good. It's grace. Now, it represents a state of consciousness, a way of thinking, a mindset. Now, below that golden blanket is a tangled black blanket of, of cobwebs. And that represents fear consciousness, the ego mind. And it's where most of us get stuck, right? So we have a choice to go to the, the human consciousness, the earthly mind, for our thoughts, for our solutions, for what we're going to do every day, or we have a choice to go to the higher mind. Most of us get caught up in the fear mind and we get caught up in the energy of problems, accidents, illness, um, dramas, all of, all of the this, this stuff that we want to get rid of in our lives. So the, in order to go past that, you need to protect yourself from that that fear mind. You need to put yourself inside light. And that's all that shielding yourself is. It's not saying, you know, that people out there are out to get me. What you're saying is, I want to protect myself from that lower consciousness because I am an energy being and I'm easily influenced. My energy is porous. It's absorbable. I'm easily influenced by that fear energy. So we take actions like we avoid watching violence and news and things like that. We, we, we stop surrounding ourselves with go gossip and fear-based judgments and but we also can put ourselves in this energy of light with a strong intention to stay connected to the divine mind. So that's what the shielding is about this week. It's like protect yourself from all of that lower consciousness thinking. Do what it takes. Put yourself in light. Call on the angels. Meditate and reach out to that state of consciousness for your problem solving rather than the lower energies. We are influenced by lower energies all the time. The thought forms of fear the thought forms of mass consciousness can affect us so we have to be aware of that and it's just like wearing a raincoat out in the rain that's all it is it's recognizing that you don't want to be influenced you don't want to get wet you don't want to get dirty <laughs> you don't want that negative energy reaching you and then we have this beautiful card the king of Raphael, and it, the message of this card says it's safe for you to trust which i really love but i see that as you're you coming into your own, you really connecting with that divine energy, feeling its influence in your life, being able to override and come out of that fear cobweb energy and being able to resolve your problems and, and knowing on a very deep level that you're protected, that there is a, this powerful energy that keeps the planets in the sky, that brings the tide in and the tide out and grows your hair that energy that beats your heart isn't something that you have to go into your human mind to make happen. It happens anyway because it happens from a higher perspective. So when you recognize that higher perspective, you can lean on it. You can ask for it. You can surrender your problems to it. And that's really what today's session is all about. 
So sending you heartfelt thanks and blessings. And remember to call on your angels for everything because they are your bridge. They're the, they're the connection between, they, they bypass that fear mind completely. When you call on them, they will be there. And I'm sending you lots of love for your week ahead. Have a great week.